Hey, today we're gonna be using none other than Shadow Gardevoir again. I can't emphasize to you guys enough how good this Pokemon is in the Hoenn Cup. So long as you get rid of the hardest counter being Reggie Steel out of the game, Shadow Gardevoir is gonna be sweeping teams. Now this team is gonna be familiar to my last Shadow Gardevoir video where we're using Defense Form Deoxys paired with Gardevoir, but instead of Pelipper, we're gonna have Sableye here on the safe swap. It performs exactly the same and it's just incredibly strong. All right, getting into the first battle, we have Deoxys on the lead versus Sableye. Bad leads, so we're gonna go ahead and go into the mirror match right here. They are forced to swap out and they decide to come in with Reggie Steel. This is what this team is all about, drawing out Reggie Steel, letting the Gardevoir sweep. And in this case, against Reggie Steel, we can actually force shields because of the damage from Shadow Claw and Foul Play. So we're gonna go ahead and let the Zap Cannon go through. It's not gonna be enough to take us out and they cannot farm us down in time before we can threaten with two more foul plays. So we're gonna go ahead and go for this first one. They decide to no shield, which means I'm gonna be able to get to this next one in time and force the final shield from them, or the first shield I should say, from them which is beautiful. Now, they're going to go ahead and commit to the farm down, which is fine. Defense form Deoxys is extremely bulky and can easily take a Zap Cannon. So we're going to go ahead and let this go through as it doesn't do too much damage, about 50%. And then we're going to swap out into Gardevoir right away as the Sableye does come in. And they are not swapping out, which means they might just be weak in the back. So we're going to go ahead and shield. Luckily for them, they hung on with one HP and a Dream. But unfortunately for them, their final Pokemon is... Metacham. This is what I have been seeing, everyone. So many teams just don't have the right answers for Gardevoir, and Gardevoir sweeps teams once you get Reggie Steel out of the way. Good game. All right, we got another Sableye here on the lead, so we're going to go ahead and swap out right away into the mirror match. Now, unfortunately, I did a counter right there, which is super unfortunate, um, which allows them to get to the foul play before me. And so I'm going to be forced to shield right here as I don't want to take too much damage. And in comes a Reggie Steel. So a similar situation as before. But in this case, instead of having two shields on the back end for Gardevoir, we're only going to have one. But we will still be able to get a shield from our opponent as we go for another foul play. Now... When it comes to the Zap Cannon, this is going to be extremely close to taking us out because of the, the damage from Shadow Claw that we took. So, the question is, do we shield? No, we're going to go ahead and let it go and they will be able to farm us down. Now, we're still going to trust in Gardevoir to sweep. The, the play style here is getting the Registeel onto the field. Once it's onto the field, you swap into the Gardevoir and the Sableye now is gonna go down to Charm because they took more damage from Shadow Claw previously. Final Pokemon is gonna be a Pelipper, so we're gonna try to do as much Charm damage as possible as they fully farm us down. And now, Defense Form Deoxys is gonna have to come in and do its best. We're gonna go ahead and shield and it was the Hurricane, which is a huge shield right there, as now we're gonna counter down. We're not throwing any charge moves. They have two shields left. The best play is fully countering down because we can survive the next hurricane. So that is going to be a good game. Very well played. This team, Shadow Gardevoir, guys, I, I don't, I rarely give you guys back-to-back -back videos of the same Pokemon. But this Pokemon is so good in this meta, I cannot emphasize it enough. All right, we got Registeel here on the lead. So a pretty, pretty positive matchup. And again whole consensus is getting Registeel out of the game. You're going to see Registeel every single game. If there's not a Registeel, your Shadow Gardevoir is going to have a lot of fun. So what we're going to do here is we're going to look to No Shield. The Zap Cannon does about 50% HP, which we can easily tank. And then we're going to try to go for another Thunderbolt right here. If we can, no, we don't get to it in time, unfortunately. And this is perfectly fine. We're going to come in with Sableye. They decide to go for Focus Blast. That makes sense. We're going to come in with Sableye and farm down. But they decide to swap into Pelipper, which is okay. Pelipper is a threat to Gardevoir when it has a lot of energy. So we don't want to swap into it. We want it to dump its energy into us because thinking, right, Registeel is basically at no health. Uh, it's not a threat anymore. Gardevoir, and especially since they let that foul play go through, I'm going to let them throw all of this energy. I am perfectly fine with these weather balls landing. There is no need to shield. We're going to let it go. We're going to swap, swap into Gardevoir right away. Charm down the Pelipper. Final Pokemon is Sableye. It happens every single game. Gardevoir sweeps when Registeel is out. And this is why I'm making two videos on it. I do have a third team that I ran with this, but I don't think three videos is really going to be... I think it's a bit too much. 
Um, but we do have a Metacham save swap, so we're going to swap into Sableye right here. And what you guys have seen the first couple videos, right, we've lost lead right into Sableye, and now we have games where we're winning lead against Celio here on the lead, and they swap into Metacham, so we bring in the Sableye. We're going to go ahead and go for foul plays. And this is a really unique situation where if I time this correctly, I can come out of here with no, like, 1 HP. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to no shield, and I'm going to let them do a couple extra counters. Watch this. I'm going to let them get me lower. One, two, three. I do a Shadow Claw. That way I have the foul play ready to go for Celio, and Celio then doesn't only gets one Powder Snow worth of energy. Um, it's very critical to try to make little uh, uh, mini plays like that or little adjustments. Now they swap into Dusclops, so we're going to bring in the Gardevoir, and we have two to two shields right here, and it doesn't matter. We're going to be shielding no matter what as it is just going to be ice punches, but the charm damage should just be enough to take them out um, because they won't be able to get to three ice punches in time, which means against the Celio, we should be able to do quite a bit of charm damage now against them where counter is going to finish it off. But I decided to go for Shadow Ball because I thought, you know, maybe my win con is double Psycho Boost. But looking at the health now, going for the extra charms would have been worth it. And it doesn't matter anyways, we can just counter down right here. So that's going to be a good game. The Celio does not have enough energy. His Body Slam is not going to do too much damage. And we are going to take this one. That's going to be a good game, very well played. But this is this is how the sets win. It's just so many pods, so many 4-1s, 5-0s, just constantly climbing. It's beautiful. All right, we got Deoxys on the lead versus Mawile now. Okay, so really good matchup, especially considering our back line. So we're going to look to stay in, and they're staying in as well, which is pretty interesting. Um, this is what's cool about Defense Form Deoxys. And again, if you guys are watching this video, it's in raids this weekend. This is also why I'm emphasizing Defense Form Deoxys. I think all three teams that I've built for you guys has this Pokemon, because I want to show you guys just how good it is. It's also great in Open Great League. Um, we also land the Thunderbolt there, which is perfect. But it's in raids, right? So if you do maybe a couple Defense Form Deoxys raids, take some of your rare candy that you've had stored up and invest it into it, it's going to be fantastic in the Open Great League. Now they swap into Sableye, so we're going to go ahead and counter swap into our own. What I'm looking to do is just get this thing low because I have a feeling it's going to be a Metacham in the back. That's what I'm reading right here, but it's actually going to be a Pelipper, which is fine by me as well. Foul Play is going to do a lot of neutral damage, and if they let it go through, which they do, that seals the fate because that is so much less health for Gardevoir to charm down. So we're going to let the Weather Ball go through. We're going to unleash the Shadow Gardevoir now. Actually, I might come in. I think I come in with the Ox. No, I come in with the Gardevoir. Yeah, just charm down right here. And it's going to be a good game. They're not going to be do it, be able to do anything and they surrender. All right, moving to the next one. We got Deoxys versus Walrein on the way. Shiny as well. So we will see them swap out into Dusclops. So we're going to go ahead and bring in the Sableye. Now... This looks like a team that I built earlier uh, this week. It's very, very strong. Walrein, Defense Form, Deoxys, and Dusclops. Now, I was concerned about the potential Poltergeist. Um, it does a lot of damage. And in this matchup with Sableye versus Dusclops, so long as you shield the potential move, right, you can take this. Um, take this game relatively easily because we have so much damage with Shadow Claw, and I can come out of here with energy. We do get two shields as well. So I'm going to go ahead and commit to the farm down. I will give up a second shield here. If it's another ice punch, which it is, I need to be very, very careful. So I might just have to throw a foul play. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't want to take any extra damage because with the remaining health that I have here on my Sableye, I should be able to get to a foul play against the wall rain that's going to come back in. We've maintained switch advantage. I know we have all shields down. But things are looking okay. Walrein decides to come back in. So we should be able to get to a foul play now, which is going to do a lot of neutral damage. And they're also going to be forced to throw energy. They can't farm us down with Powder Snow before we take them out. So they're going to go ahead and throw the Ice School Spear, which is fine. Now, if I'm reading this team correctly, it's going to be Defense Form Deoxys in the back. So I'm going to go ahead and swap into my own. And sure enough, it is Defense Form Deoxys in the back. So shout out to this battler for trying out the team that I made. I hope it did really well for you. But... Seeing as I made it, I was able to to manage myself around knowing that, you know what, it might actually be this team. Um, so in order to win this game, basically we need to get the, we've already gotten wall rain low and it has a little bit of energy, but not enough for two ice school spears. And all we need to do is get this Deoxys low and Gardevoir with Charm should be able to take it. So this is looking to be a good game. We still have our Sableye as well. And they're going to go ahead and go for the charge move right here. So... We are just going to tank it. That's perfectly fine. 
Gardevoir now is going to come in, Charm down, and then now with the remaining health on Walrein, they don't have enough time to get to two Icicle Spears, and thankfully Shadow Gardevoir can survive one so we're going to be able to tank that just fine and charm down, and that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, moving to the next one. We got Altaria on the lead right here, okay? So we got to kind of fake a rock slide, fake it to make it right here. We're going to go ahead and build up, and we're just going to go for a Thunderbolt. It still does really nice neutral damage, but the potential right here with the defense form Deoxys is to soften up the Altaria and it's going to be really up to Sableye to kind of carry the rest of this game. So we're going to go ahead and go for that Thunderbolt. We're now going to look to go for a Psycho Boost if I can to do some extra chip damage and then they might just commit to the full farm down which would be unfortunate but they decide to let it go so I come in with Gardevoir and one tap him. Boom! Fast move! Got him! And they bring in their own Gardevoir! I'm like... <gasps> Thank goodness, because now we simultaneously KO. I get to see what they have on the field, and it's going to be a Swampert. So this is going to be a good game. Our Sableye right here can easily tank a Hydro Cannon, and our Shadow Claw damage is going to add up way too much. Now, I will have to give up both shields, but ultimately what this is going to come down to is I get three foul plays off and survive a Hydro Cannon. Um, before they can uh, and then they'll go down to three foul plays basically so that's what we're going to see right here we're going to see back-to-back -back hydro cannons i go for the back-to-back -back foul plays now getting both shields and remember i still have my deoxys in the back as well if i desperately need it but i know i can tank a hydro cannon this is perfectly fine we get shield number two and now they're going to go ahead and throw the next hydro cannon which we will be able to survive and now we win win the race between them getting four Hydro Cannons and me getting to the next foul play. So they decide to surrender. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. All right, we got Deoxys versus Reggie Steel. Very positive matchup for us. Let's see what they decide to do. They decide to stay in. Okay, this is perfectly fine by me. We're going to play this out just like we have before, where once this thing's off the field, we're not going to give up shields. We're going to trust in Gardevoir. Because once we get this out of the game, it's going to be good. First move's coming through. It's going to be Zap Cannon. I know... You guys are itching like, I could shield the Zap Cannon, but you don't need to. Remember, it's the long game that we're trying to play here, not the initial matchups of like, I have to beat this Reggie Steel. All you have to do is get it low. All you got to do is get it low. This next Thunderbolt, they decide to let it go. All right, we're going to see Altaria commence. We're going to go ahead and swap into Sableye right away. It's very important when the Reggie Steel's out of the game, whatever Pokemon comes in, um, unless it's Shadow Gardevoir, um, you want to swap into Sableye because you don't want them to farm down Defense Form Deoxys because energy advantage is going to be very disadvantage. Disadvantages? Disad it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I haven't had enough coffee today. It's going to be... It's going to be bad for us. So we swap in right away. We get the two foul plays off. So we do get a shield. And now it is time for Shadow Gardevoir to do what Shadow Gardevoir does. We safely shield this charge move. Charm down. That's it. The, the Reggie steals out of the game. Who else is in the back? It's going to be a Pelipper. That's fine by me. We're going to go ahead and just do as much charm damage as we can. Now, this one's going to be close. Pelipper with wing attack and weather ball gets to the charge move very quickly. But as long as we get it low... Like right here, this is fine. We're going to tank, or we're going to go down to Weather Ball, unfortunately. But Defense Form Deoxys has enough health left where Counter takes down the Pelipper. And now Counter will take down the Altaria. And that is going to be a good game. Very well played. I believe that was the final. No, we got two more. I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, Vigoroth on the lead. Pretty positive for us, considering how much damage Counter does right here. And we're resisting Counter. This is huge. And the longer they stay in, the more advantage I get in this game. As I can safely no-shield these Body Slams, I'm not concerned about it. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt for neutral damage. You don't want to go for the Psycho Boost. We want to maintain the high attack damage on our Counter fast move. Because when you use Psycho Boost, right, it lowers your own attack, so you do less damage. We're going to go ahead and tank these Body Slams. This is fine. We're going to counter it down. And let's see what they decide to bring in. They decide to bring in Altaria. So I'm going to try to go ahead and go for the Thunderbolt here. And then I need to look um, to potentially swap out. But I think I might just not. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I get a shield there. So now I have an advantage. I have a 2 to 1 shield advantage. We bring in the Shadow Gardevoir to charm down. Because there could still be a Reggie Steel in the back. You never know. It wouldn't make sense with this team lineup. But you never know. Final Pokemon is actually going to be a Whizcash. So we're going to go ahead and swap into Sableye now to catch the Mud Bomb. And this is going to be a good game. 
the the chess match right here is basically letting Sableye get this whiz cash as low as possible and just pressuring with uh, with foul play because we will be able to charm everything down. And Wizcash is going to be forced to throw energy as Mud Bomb doesn't do enough. So we're going to go ahead, build up to the return. I mean, ultimately, I'm throwing foul play either way. But this should get the final shield from them, which it does. And now they're going to be forced to throw. Otherwise, I get to another foul play. And this is where we checkmate them, right? Because now they're forced to throw the Mud Bomb. I come in with Gardevoir and charm down. And then I can safely shield their Mud Bomb right here as Altaria doesn't have a lot of energy, but I'm also very close to a Shadow Ball, as you guys are going to see. So we should be able to get to this Shadow Ball in time, and that is going to be a good game, very well played. This is going to be taking out that Altaria. It's an incredible amount of neutral damage. Boom! And then we charm down the Whizcash. Good game right there. All right. Moving into the next one, we got Deoxys on the lead versus Metacham. All right, so our whole team locks down the Metacham. This is beautiful, but we need to draw out Reggie Steel. Remember that this team, the Shadow Gardevoir only works is if you can get Reggie Steel out of the game. And with a Metacham lead, there is a Reggie Steel in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and swap into Sableye, forcing them out. Here comes the Reggie Steel. Perfect. The Sableye as well. Like Metacham could stay in against Defense Form Deoxys. It has neutral play, but ultimately it's really gonna lose that game. But when you swap into Sableye, they have to swap out and they're going to bring in Defense Form Deoxys with, or, um, sorry, Reggie Steel, which again plays to our advantage because we're going to be able to get off these multiple foul plays here to just force a shield or just take out the Reggie Steel as we do get them extremely low. We get to the next foul play as well. So this is going to force the shield. Otherwise, we take Switch, right? And if we get Switch Advantage, Gardevoir is going to delete the Metacham. They decide to shield and throw. So this is beautiful. All right, we're going to let this go. We're going to come in with our Defense Form Deoxys counter down. We have a lot of loaded energy right here. Sableye comes in and, well, this this is it for them. They got a Sableye and a Metacham, which means Shadow Gardevoir with two shields is going to have a very, very, very fun time. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Good game. All right, they surrendered right there. But this team was so strong. I'm telling you guys, Shadow Gardevoir... And you can do it with a lot. I've built three teams. I've given you guys two. The third team doesn't have defense form Deoxys. I guess I, guess I could tell you if you stuck around to the end. You get to know secret team number three. It is going to be Swampert, Shadow Gardevoir, and Reggie Steel. That was team number three. So if you stuck around to the end, I don't think I'm going to make a video on it because I don't want to overdo Gardevoir, but... Two videos is enough to let you guys know that this thing is absolutely amazing. And you don't need a second charge move on it, right? Even if, let's say you had frustration, right? Just Shadow Charm is what you need. Save, uh, Shadow Ball did help me out in a bit of these matchups. So you could unlock a second charge move and then change that to Shadow Ball. So it's a bit more costy, but you can make it work if you have frustration. So Defense Form Deoxys, Shadow Gardevoir, Sableye. Very strong, highly recommend. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And like always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.